Uh, while I have you, though, Treasurer, uh, the union, the AWU, uh, this morning calling on the state government to commit to using locally produced steel for both the web dock and East West Link projects, saying that there are literally thousands of jobs that will depend on you sourcing local steel for the infrastructure that you're committed to building over the next couple of years. Well, John, in relation to East West Link, I've, I've had some advice on that this morning, and we're, ha- we're having an 80% local content requirement for the bidders on East West Link. But what now, about the steel? Well, well there's, an 80, there's an 80% local content requirement, and our expectation is because steel will be a significant component of the construction of East West Link, we're expecting that there'll be a, a large amount of locally produced steel required. Now, uh, local content could include financial services, legal services, uh, documentation, planning, architectural and other uh, paper-based services as opposed to physical products like steel. So just specifically in relation to steel, no assurances at all is what you're telling us. Well, the assurances are there's an 80% local content uh, policy that uh, needs to be complied with. For the whole project, I'm asking you specifically on steel, no assurances at all. Can we clarify that's the answer? Well, the the local content policy doesn't apply to each individual component. It applies across the whole of the project. No assurances on steel. (laughs)